Let's see. Okay, so it looks good on that computer. It just okay, it does. So it looks good on that computer. <laughs> the echo. <laughs> All right, let me let me share this link on to Class Dojo. Give me a second, please, so we can get started. Um, I also need to put a timer. Um, because I have a meeting with uh, Mr. Gonzalez and all of the bridge prep pe teachers at noon. So um, if I'm not going to be answering as quick as I've been doing, it's because of that. All right. So today, what are we looking at in math, boys and girls? Today we're looking at how can we make a graph to count objects that are sorted into categories. Now remember, you don't have to print out any of this. You don't worry about it. Just watch this video. I'm going to explain how this lesson works, and then at the end of the lesson, I'm going to show you how we can um, how we can draw it on a piece of paper. No need to printing out, like I said, a reading assignment. When you submit it to me, the, your mom or dad, just send me the picture, and then in the Bridge Prep website, you go and write, I have sent Ms. Almeida the picture of the work. That's it, as well as the iStation minutes for math. Okay, so let's start. This is the interactive math. Uh, book. Let me have the volume all the way up so you can hear it. How can you make a graph of objects that have been sorted into categories? Good morning. It's always fun to visit the hen coop and see my friend Charlie. He always knows what's happening at this end of the zoo. Oh, Charlie says that people were collecting eggs this morning. They collected brown eggs and white eggs. Hmm, they found lots of eggs. Click the nest to see. Wow, look at all the eggs. Charlie says that the people wanted to sort and count the eggs. All right, so when they're talking they about sorting sort and counting, they're going to go over Sorry. Color. Then they wanted to know how many brown eggs there were and how many white eggs there were. Hmm, those are good questions. I'm a bit confused about this. Maybe we could find out how to make a graph to help. Come on, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to click on the arrow. Here are some cubes. How many of each do you have? Can you show how many you have in a graph? What will the graph look like? Well, let's start with sorting and classifying the cubes. How can we do this? We can sort and classify the cubes by the category of color. This cube is red. Let's place it on this side. This cube is green. Place it on this side. Let's sort the rest of the cubes. Okay, so now take a look boys and girls. We got the red and the green cubes, right? So we're gonna click on it. I think it's gonna, it's not gonna let me move them yet, but just take a close look. Red, green, green, red, red, green, green. This chart is called a graph. We can use graphs to show information. The title of the graph is red and green cubes. There are two rows in the graph. One row is for red cubes. And one row is for green cubes. Let's place the cubes into the graph. Okay, so I think this Where is the one I can the do. the red cubes. We'll move them into the row of boxes next to the red cube. 
Place one red cube in each box in this row. Here we go. Do How do we know the red cubes belong in this category? One, two, three, four. Now, I know a lot of, sometimes you guys may want to count this one right here. But because we are counting from inside of the graph, the graph is this rectangle that keeps all of the cubes that were here in there. You need to count from this one. So count with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to unpause it. Listen closely. Because all of the cubes in this category are red. Place one green cube in each box this row. Now we're going to do the green ones. There's a row of red cubes. It has one, two, three, four cubes. There's a row of green cubes. It has one, two, three, four, five cubes. The graph shows you how many of each cube you have. All right, we're going to the next part. How will you sort and classify these cubes by color. Drag each cube into the sorting mat to sort and classify the cubes by color. Check your work when you're done. All right, let's do this one with orange. So we'll do one, two, three, four. Now on this side, we're gonna place all the blue cubes. One, two, three. We're going to hit check. That's right. You sorted and classified the cubes by color. Now drag the cubes from the sorting mat to the graph. Check your work when you're done. Okay, so after we have sorted them, we're going to place them into the categories that they go. Only the orange ones and only the blue ones down here. Let me see. Can I do it? Okay, we're doing one at a time. So we're going to count one. Now we have four. Let's do now the blue part. One, two, three. Let's check. Good job. You placed the orange cubes in the boxes next to the orange cube and the blue cubes in the boxes next to the blue cubes. Now select how many orange cubes there are and how many blue cubes there are. Check your work when you're done. All right. So, not counting these outside. These are just telling you the kinds of types of categories we're doing. So, we're counting from here. Inside the graph, we have one, two, three, four. So, we look at the numbers up here. Let's think. Is it going to be three? No. It's going to be four. We tap it here. All right. Give it a minute. Now, for the blue, we count one, two, three. It's not going to be four. It's going to be three. Let's check. Let's see. Did it come on? Okay. I just have to tap it a little harder. I double check that everything's right. Okay. Excellent. In the graph, there's a row of four orange cubes and three blue cubes. Okay. Now, let's practice with the personal math trainer. Alrighty, do you see this is a graph? It tells me green circles and triangles. All right, so we're gonna make sure that we put, how many do we see in the right place? You found another green circle. How would you graph the change? Okay, so if we put one more, and this one in this page, pretend, just pretend that Ms. Almeida is drawing one more here. So we're, are we going to say it's going to be one fewer green circle? No, we're going to say it's going to be one more green circle. Okay? 
because we would have one more here. Pretend I drew, drew it there. So it's gonna be this one. Let me click it there. Wait a minute. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Well, it's okay if it doesn't let me click it. You are going to see that the computer is going to give me the right answer. Well, if it lets me click it. Please answer. <laughs> One more green circle. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we can do that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, let me put a little, not not two of them, I just need one. Okay. How do I get this out of the way? Oh, listen, I'm learning this as much as with you guys. I'm trying to see how I could do this. Okay, that didn't work out, but that was cool. Okay, where, where is this taking me? Oh, look, it's the math on the spot. Okay, we'll watch that one in a minute. All right, so I'm trying to click the answer. It's going to be this one. <sighs> Technical difficulties. All right, pretend we clicked and it said, Congratulations, you got it right. Woohoo! Next one. All right. <laughs> that was funny. All righty, here we go. Which graph correctly shows the cubes sorted by category? So before we go into the graph, let's count the red ones. One, two, three, red. One, two, blue. So you see, we have to choose the answer that matches it. Now, it's not going to be B, it's going to be A, okay? Because it has the same number, one, two, three, one, two, three, and for the blue, one, two. The other one has it the other way around. So let me see if it lets me click on it. Now it does, okay. Awesome. Let me show you now the math on the spot. Hello everyone, we have a very exciting math on the spot today and here to help us solve our puzzle, the famous one and only actress, Ginny! Hello everyone! Yes, it's really me! <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started. That's it? That's the start of the show? Yeah. Where's the passion? Where's the excitement? <laughs> and now, everyone, let the math begin. See. <laughs> you can start. Okay, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> now, I have this graph that shows how many shapes are in each category. Mm -hmm. category and we have circles and triangles. Now, if I found another green circle that I had dropped, how would my graph change? Oh, oh, this is intense drama. <laughs> Let's count the number of circles that we have on our graph. We shall. Okay, you want to count with me, Jenny? I will. <laughs> so dramatic. Ready? Yes. One, One two, three, three four. four. Four circles. Four circles. Now let's count our triangles. Oh. One, One, two, two three, three, four, five, four, six. six triangles. Six triangles. Oh. <laughs> now remember, actress Jeannie, mm. the puzzle said, what if I had found this green circle that I dropped? Where is it at? Oh, here it is. Oh, right here, right here. Let's add this circle to my graph. So I have to remove this number since we're adding oh, one yes. more. So if I had four circles, but I added one more than four, well, how many circles do we have now? Two. Five circles. Very good. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. You are correct. Of course. Five circles. Now my graph shows that I have Five circles and six triangles. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. Bravo, bravo. Thanks, Jeannie. Have fun with math. No, no, no. No? What kind of ending is that? Here, here. Let me try. 
try. Okay, okay. okay. Have fun with laugh, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's too funny. All right, so we did this one. I'm gonna also go over the vocabulary words. Um, let's go over the word sort. All right, sort. Do they have sorts here? Let me see if they have a category. Oh, okay, this is good. Category. We can put objects into a category or group where all the objects are the same in some way. Here we have a category of fruits and a category of toys. Alrighty. Let me see. Um, because I don't think we saw we saw same height. I have a shorter, ba -ba 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 solid. Okay. We can also look at what we remember. Which one had great? Oh, yes, the word graph. Let's do graph first. Listen closely. Graph. A graph has rows and columns. Look at the graph. This graph has two rows and four columns. Alrighty, give me one second. I'm answering some questions via Class Dojo now live. So if you see me waiting a little, that, that usually happens when I'm live. Um, so yes, because I know the, the chat on this live stream is not available. And that's because this is made for kids. So YouTube is a little strict about that. All right, let's go look over here. Greater. Greater. Look at the cubes. Nine is greater than six. All right, so using these graphs, we're going to later on see which one's going to be greater, which one's going to be less. Let's look at the word less. Less. Nine is less than 11. There are 11 red cubes and nine blue cubes. Nine is less than 11. All right. What do we got here? We got these counters and shapes. Okay. Let me open another resource. Okay, we did that. Let's give this a second. The computer's thinking. I can also show you how the map books looks like so you guys can see how the activities uh, look. Uh, don't worry about printing out anything. I just want to show you and give you the idea of how this works. Give it a minute. Hold on. Okay. That's not clicking. It's uh, interesting. Okay. More or less how the student's book looks like. So we're going to go to... Um, so let's see, right here. So let me really quickly take a screenshot of this and open it right here. Okay. So take a look how we would do this. Just like how they did it in the other, in the interactive map book is basically the same thing. I'm just stretching out my camera so you guys can see it a little better. Hold on, bear with me. Okay. Move up the camera. All right, so the most important thing of this lesson and why is it important to learn this is because we have to, how can we make a graph, right? Like the one down here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. You, uh, by counting objects that have been classified into categories. So I'm gonna pretend to have a certain number of cubes here and a certain number of cubes here. The ones are gonna be orange and ones are gonna be green. So I'm gonna draw those out now. So I'm gonna do the green ones over here. So I'm gonna do, Let's see, I'm going to do two that are green, 
And uh, let's see, do I have orange on the iPad? I don't no, I don't. So pretend that this yellow color is the, the orange one, okay? All right. And here I'm going to draw four of them, okay? Now, how do we put it in here? So I'm uh, I'm gonna lower the camera now. Hold on. All right, here we go. We have one, two, three, four. Does everybody see that? And on the bottom we have one, two. All right. We can also tell how many do we have in this category. So in this category we have four for the orange. In this category, we have two that are green. Which one is greater? The orange. Which one is less? The green. Okay? So let's click done. And we can save it. All right. In this next page, we're going to do the same thing. Let me screenshot it. Writing. Let's open it up here. All right. Let's go to the top. Instead of working with the colors and red and green and uh, orange, we're going to be working with blue. So I'm going to be drawing here um, maybe just one blue cube, right? And then the other part, I'm going to be drawing a few more. So give me a minute. This time, I think I'm going to do three. Now, if you guys have like little Legos, you can also do that at home. That works fine. If you don't, don't worry. You don't, don't go buy anything. And just giving suggestions if you have that. So how many? Red one, two, three. Alrighty. How many blue ones? One. And then we're gonna write the numbers. Here. So we have three for the red one for the blue, and then we follow the directions here. Which one is greater? The red one is greater. Which one is less? One is less. Oh, wait, let me move that on the camera. Here we go, again. Which one is greater? Three is greater than one. One is less than three, okay? Let me go ahead and do another one. <clears throat> now this one, just like how we saw in the Math on the Spot video, um, they're using shapes. So let's draw them out here first. And they're all the same color. So maybe on one side I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to do one circle. And here I'm going to do a few triangles. Let's see, one, two. Okay. Then we sort them into our categories. Okay. One. Two. How many circles do we see? Just one. Okay. Let me move the camera down so we can write the number that we saw. Okay. We have one circle, two triangles, and we say, okay, one is less than two. Two is greater than one. All right. Or we can even say it like this. One is fewer than two. Two is greater than one. Now the number of triangles is two. The number of circles is one. All right. Let's go ahead and do another one so you guys get the idea. As the boys and girls usually know this as the ladybug page that they do by themselves or they do it with me and they know that sometimes we have to rip it out in the book. Um, okay. All right. Let me do the ladybug page. All right, in this one, you get to choose. This is how more or less the work that you're going to submit is going to look like. I will give you an example, like how it would look like in a blank piece of paper, like a white piece of paper. But um, if you want to base it off of this, and if you have a printer, you can screenshot this and print it out. You know what I mean? Whatever works best for you. I'm going to make it simple to the point. Let me check. Do I have my black marker? Good. So... I'm going to trace here the cubes, okay, trace the cubes, all right, let's think of different ways, so here, use five cubes of two colors, 
Color the cubes to show the categories. Draw and color to show what you know about making a graph. So what I understand is that they want us to use five cubes of two colors. So I think they want us to fill it all up with five cubes. So I'm going to do that in my best way. So in this one, I'm going to draw just five cubes for all of them, making them look as best as that. The children can draw just a square or make it look like it was fine. The same point comes across. Alrighty. Okay, so now we can also talk about the word same. These are going to have the same amount. But you will notice something different in a minute. I'm checking my time. It's 11.17. At 12, I have to go to a meeting in the Zoom with Mr. G. Mm -hmm. And because both numbers are the same, I will write them the same number. Five. Oh, wait. That, that five does not look good. Let me do that again. Oopsies. All right. Let's try it from the top down to the middle. Okay. Okay. Oops. See, even Miss Almeida makes a mistake. Hold on. Okay, that's much better. I'm going to use my marker to use different colors. Let's just use yellow and red this time. All the ones on the top are going to be yellow. Okay, so this one's going to represent yellow, the yellow cubes. All the ones on the bottom is going to show red. Show all the red cubes. All right. So let's let's say it out loud with me. We have the same yellow and red cubes. There are five yellow cubes. There are five red cubes. All right. Now let's go to the next part. Oh, we're gonna go done. We're going to go to my notes. I'm going to have to move the camera right around. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to open up a blank sheet. Let me have the camera adjusted so it looks all nice and neatly. And I'm going to have a setting so it looks look just like a pencil. So all the boys and girls see more or less how their paper will look like. Okay? So, all right. When you send me this, you can put it on any piece of paper, a journal, whatever is easier for you. Okay? Let me see where my hand more or less is. Okay, so this is kind of out. Okay, let me see. I'm adjusting my camera right now so I can show you. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so over here, we're going to, um, what you want to call it? Okay, yes. Um, we're going to, I think I'm going to have to do it lower. Give me one second. I'm figuring out what's the best way of doing this so it could come out nice and easy. Okay, you can have them write the long date, March 16th, 2020, Monday on top, so they can remember. Okay. All right, I know you can't see it too well, but I think it's there. Looks good. Let's focus the camera. Oh yeah, that's much better. So you might be wondering, how do we do this? How do we go about sorting and classifying? Okay, so we can start with something very simple. Let's draw out like a little cloud so the kids can draw it themselves. Maybe two little clouds. One cloud over here, one cloud over here. Why the clouds? Because there they can sort the, the shapes, okay? We're gonna keep it simple, shapes. So here we're gonna have one square, I'm sorry, <laughs> one triangle, two triangles. Okay, we're gonna do two triangles on one side. Your child can choose to do as many triangles as they fit there. As well, the most important thing is that I need to see how they sort and classify, okay? And then on the other cloud, they can show me some squares. I'm going to choose to do three. Okay. 
Now, this is the part where they're going to try their best to draw. I know this is going to be hard. Take your time. Okay, I know you can't see the full thing, but we're going to try our best. Okay. I'm going to draw... Wait, actually, let me start again. I'm going to draw the shape outside of our graph. Okay, triangle. That's our... That's our indicator that tells us where the shapes are going to go. And this is the square. And then next where you do a line, then you're going to do another line, a line on the bottom, connect it. Now you have a big rectangle. Draw a line in the middle. And you're going to create five boxes so this is going to be your first box your second box so so far we have a group of four and then i'll draw a line in the middle that's it so you count each of these you have one two three four ah mira sometimes i do this better i'm sorry and extend it a little i i messed up normally i would have gone it right but okay now let's count it let me double check that we have five one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. The reason why I do this is because this looks like a 10 frame. And the kids are familiar with the 10 frame. If they can remember the 10 frame, knowing the graph will be a lot easier to sort and classify. How many triangles do we have here? One, two. How many squares do we have over here? One, two, three. Then you can just pick one color for all of them because in this activity that you will be sending to me, it will be based on sorting the different kinds of shapes. Now, if your child wants to do a, rect a, a sorry, rectangle, a hexagon, they can do that. As long as they can show me that they understand how to make the, the graph, all right, the graph part of it, that's the most important thing, okay? That's what matters. You can do this based on color, or you can do it based on shape. You're going to look now that I'm going to use just a single color, hold on, to color these shapes. What we are organizing is based on the shapes, okay? Okay, so I'm, and that marker is a little heavy duty, but is there a way to make this smaller? No, I don't think so. Sorry. Sorry it's coming out a little messy, but... It is what it is. Okay. Does everybody see that? If you have questions of how to do this, let me know in the class dojo. I'm gonna give you example number two. Let me let me have my camera zoom out so you can see how it looks. You take a picture of this, you send it to me via class dojo. Once you send it to me, go to bridgeprepinterkamerican.com in the math part. You're going to type in the box, you as a parent, saying, I've submitted it to Miss Almeida via Class Dojo, and I say yes. Thank you. That's it. You don't have to submit the picture via the bridgeprepinteramerican.com website. I know it's a little complicated. Through Class Dojo, you send me your child's work. It should look like this. It can use different shapes, same color. It can use different colors, same shape. Let me give you a second example. I know this is still a little confusing. So I'm just trying to be flexible, you know? I'm just trying to give everybody different ways because we all learn differently and we all need time to understand this. So I will be you know, trying my best to answer everybody's questions to help you out. So keep the format the same. Two clouds, a 10 frame, and the word graph so they can get it. Now, let me go ahead and draw um, the cubes, right? Very simple. So let's see. Oh, that came out green. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Okay. So here I'm going to do a cube. We're only going to do one here. Let me move up my camera. Okay. Okay. How's my time? Good. And because this one is color specific, I'm giving you another example. You don't have to do two. I'm just giving you another example. I'm going to do it pink. All right. And then based on that, in my graph... Uh-huh. I'm going to do the same thing here. Well, let me move down my camera so you could see it. Thank you guys for being patient. A ver. Okay. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm going to do it right away. We only have one pink cube. This one is color specific. That's why we're doing it like this. If you're doing shapes with the same color, that's fine. All right. On the other cloud over there, let's see if maybe this works a little better. We will be drawing, again, cubes. I'm going to do a different an amount of cubes. I'm going to do maybe four. Give different probabilities of this. Okay, four. So I'm going to draw this really quick so we could just color. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Then being color specific, um, I'm going to choose light blue. Color it in. All right. Does, does everybody see that? We know that one is less than the four blue cubes. All right, we also see that um, that they're also greater. This group is greater than that one. And then you take a picture, send it to me, and type in the box in the Bridge Prep American, Inter-American website that you have completed this work and that you do your I station. All the homework is already listed on the website. I've sent you a class dojo message with it. Um, and uh, let me see, can I show you another resource before I end this live stream? I know I have to be leaving soon because I have to be into a virtual meeting. All right, let me see. Sometimes some of these resources work and they're really good. So give me a minute. Come on. All right, that one didn't work too good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that one's, I wanted to try that one, but I don't think it's going to work on the iPad. Boy. Honestly? Let's see. Grab and go center, crosswatch, interactive. We did the interactive math book. We did the go math. And that's basically it. So please let me know when you're done with that. And if you have any more questions, I am available in the class. Dojo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. And also for the science and social studies, we'll, we'll go into that tomorrow better because I know everything is all at once. So don't worry about that for now. That'll be due soon. All righty. Math and social, I'm sorry, social studies and science. We'll go into detail tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.